Well, hey, everybody. I managed to squeeze in one last movie before the end of the year, and that movie is Uncut Gems. This movie was directed by Benny and Josh Safdie and stars Adam Sandler as Howard Ratner, a jeweler in New York City's Diamond District. Ratner has clearly made some bad decisions in his life and continues to do so. He has a serious gambling addiction and a large amount of debt because of it. He's been struggling to keep his business afloat and has even resorted to pawning his customers' collateral. And if all that wasn't enough, he's about to get a divorce. But if he can just get that one big score, it'll finally make everything better. Spoiler alert, it will not make everything better. I suppose this is not the typical Adam Sandler movie. And, well, actually, in a sense it is, in that it's mostly not funny. Uh, apart from a running gag involving the vestibule in his jewelry shop, which actually did get a chuckle out of me. But unlike the typical Adam Sandler movie, it's not funny on purpose. This is one of those rare times you will actually see Adam Sandler in a straight role, and if there was ever any doubt that he could act in a straight role, well, I would argue Punch Drug Love already settled that years ago, but Uncut Gem certainly confirms it, because he is really good in this. And it is quite the wild ride just watching how far this character can fall. He is basically the undisputed champion of bad decisions. His family life is in shambles. His oldest daughter hardly even acknowledges him. His wife is sick of his shit. He has a mistress. It's not entirely clear whether the mistress is the reason his marriage is about to end or if the marriage was already on the rocks and the mistress came later. Either way, his wife has had enough. He is far too trusting of some very untrustworthy people, which constantly lands him in hot water. And this guy's gambling addiction is just painful to watch. It absolutely just owns his life as much as any other type of addiction. Honestly, I think he would have been better off if he was just on drugs. He just cannot stop making the sports bets, even when his life is on the line. He just can't. And at times the character is very sympathetic, and it's not every day that I can say I feel sympathy for an Adam Sandler character, but yeah, it's very easy to feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, the sympathy can only go so far because everything bad that happens to him, he brings on himself. Edina Menzel plays Howard's soon-to-be ex-wife, and man, she was great. Just the sheer amount of disgust she can portray with just a simple look was... Fantastic. Like, this is a woman whose bullshit tolerance clearly ran out years ago, and I do not blame her. I like Lakeith Stanfield as Howard's assistant, Damani, who's basically bringing a lot of big money clients his way. Judd Hirsch has a small role as Howard's father-in-law. He was as good as he always is. And I was most impressed with both Julia Fox and Kevin Garnett, both making their film debuts. Fox plays Howard's employee slash mistress and has apparently never acted before. You wouldn't know it by watching her. She was really good and I would have sworn she had been acting for years. I hope she continues to act for years, because she's great. And Garnett didn't exactly have to stretch much, since he was just playing a fictional version of himself, but still, I was impressed. Now, while I did like this movie quite a bit, I don't know that it's absolutely necessary to see it on the big screen. If you do, I would say it's probably not worth paying full price. It's better as a matinee. Probably better still waiting for rental, but I do think you should see it one way or another, if nothing else, just because... Sandler and Fox and the rest of the cast are all really good, and I had a lot of fun just watching this story unfold, and it gets really intense towards the end, and the very end of this movie, I wouldn't exactly call it surprising, but it was definitely shocking. If nothing else, you get to see Adam Sandler in a good movie, and that's a rare thing nowadays. Well, that's all I have to say about Uncut Gems. Till next time, take care.